Since 2011, the National Institute for Research and Development in Environmental Protection has been performed scientific activities aimed at monitoring the behavior of ultrasonically tagged wild sturgeons during their migration for reproduction, from the Black Sea to the Danube River and vice versa. Over the years of monitoring, the Institute has faced various problems to ensure the efficiency and sustainability of this activity, which is dependent both on the difficult hydrodynamic conditions, when floods or droughts are recorded, and weather conditions, extremely high thermal values, freezing conditions, storms, etc. Taking into account these aspects, the Institute Sturgeon Monitoring Team has developed techniques and procedures in order to ensure the sustainability and efficiency of this activity. At the same time, the monitoring team patented the inventions developed based on the experience gained over time, having the purpose to solve various problems that affect the monitoring systems and that could implicitly lead to the loss of the databases. Thus currently the Institute has managed to collect and process an unique information volume at European level regarding the behavior of ultrasonically tagged sturgeons on the lower Danube. After a while the floods have brought trees and branches along the Danube, which were blocked between the DKMR station and the left bank of the Bala branch, sinking the station, thus leading to the possibility of its destruction and implicitly to the loss of the unique information volume. The situation of the DKMR Sturgeon Monitoring Station is checked. The area is being cleaned in order to prepare the operation of recovering the DKMR Monitoring Station. The operation itself begins by cutting the blocked tree trunk which sank the station, located on the left bank of the Bala branch which sank the station. The recovery operation of the DKMR station was successful, thus ensuring the possibility of recovering a unique information volume. Decisions are made to clear the area in order to ensure the data downloading from the DKMR station. monitoring team continues to clear the area, performing very difficult operations. The release of the DKMR station continues, removing the logs. The activity of recovering the DKMR monitoring stations was carried out so that the unique information volume on the behavior of the anonymous sturgeons tagged with ultrasonic emitters be not lost. The important results obtained through the DKM monitoring stations are necessary to determine the level to which the submerged hydrotechnical constructions do not cause the interruption of the migration routes of the sturgeon species. At the same time, the results obtained are important for quantifying the pressure caused by poaching and promoting the necessary measures to combat it.